time for another Coffee with Kilroy. But no book today. I started off this segment, Coffee with Kilroy, covering catalogs, opening up Avalon Hill catalogs, Compass catalogs, all kinds of different catalogs. And guess what? We're back to catalogs. It's the Compass Games 2022 Holiday Catalog. So let's get some coffee. Mmm, that's good. And see what is in this bad boy here. So this just came in, just got it in the mail. So if check your mail, it might be, yours might be in the mail as well. I need to move some more, make some more room here because this is going to be kind of, let's see if we get a little closer in on this so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here. So this is uh, Compass Games catalog. This really folds out big, so let's start out small here. Holiday price will be 35% off. Blowout price will be 40 to 70% off. Here is still in stock games. So if we've got uh, Cargo Express, Colonialism, Traders of the Air. Those are pretty low prices. They're 20, 30, 20. Hypothetical category, Blue Water Navy, Brezhnev's War, Defending America. Okay. This one's on a pretty big sale, too. This uh, for Novo is 35 bucks. You can see some of the things here. I'm not going to read them all, but you can see some of what we got going on. I'll just point out the stuff. The Prelude to Rebellion is 35. Sovereign of the Seas, 65. The Late Unpleasantness, 40. Look at that. All right, so let's open this up a little bit more here. These are still in stock paper wars. So it's like it's starting with 81 up to 108. So if you want to get some of your back issues of paper wars, here they are. Some of these are really low price here. 15 bucks, 20 bucks, 25. Then we have um, Between Wars category, that's Crusade and Revolution. Then we have World War II category. These are all still in stock games still here. Operation Scorpion, 27 bucks, pretty low there. The Little Land, the Battle for Norvoskost. Yeah, like I'm going to try to pronounce that. Here we go. All right, let's open it up even more. This is almost like a, uh, almost like a uh, Christmas present, right? That we keep opening this up. I probably need to go up a little bit now on this to get a little bit bigger view here, because we got a lot going on here. Let's fold it in half this way first. So we have um, this is where their big feature games here. 1812, War on the Lakes, that's early 2023, 2040, American Insurgency, Air and Armor, I know a lot of people are, are looking forward to this, mid-2023, Solitaire, Solitaire, Design for Solitaire Play, wow, that's interesting, uh, Alexandros and Spartacus, that's mid-2023, American Ten Case. This is uh is out now. A lot of people uh were waiting for this. Um this was uh uh Gregory Smith's um uh Pies de Resistance, right? He was a uh, tank uh guy and he finally uh did a tank game. I think he was holding off on that for a long time, did all kinds of other iterations of this kind of system and finally got to tanks. Atlantic Sentinels Barbarians at the Gate, Battle Hymn 2, I know some people are looking at that, Bismarck, can't have enough Bismarck games, Blue Water Navy Pacific to go with its predecessor, so keeping on here, Breaking the Chains, which is, you know, they uh, 
had this come out, then they came out with um, kind of a variation of that system with South China Sea and Indian Ocean, and now they're going back to breaking the chains. Brief Border Wars 2. Um, I really like the uh, first version of that, and uh, this is Brian Train uh, quad game here, and this one is a little bit different. This is not uh, all modern. It's uh, I think it's like World War One or World War Two. It's 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 kind of a different mix there. Uh, Brothers at War, Carrier Battles, Philippine Seas, early 2023. I know people are looking at that. I think that's based on the old game Carrier. I think uh, by the same designer. Combat Volume One, second printing. Combat Volume Two. Let's see, let's see. Death in the Trenches. There's an Easter Front operational quad right here. It's interesting. We're not going to get an actual quad, which is kind of a little different from the Brief Border Wars. Enemy Action Ardennes and Enemy Action Kharkov. This is November 30th, 2022. That's right around the corner. Europe and Turmoil 2nd Edition or Europe and Turmoil 2. Flanks of Gettysburg for Motherland. Wow, a lot of good stuff there. So... Let's uh, open this up even more. As you can see, this just keeps getting bigger. I gotta move my coffee. Coffee's getting in the way of all this. Here we go. Oh man, okay, what do we got here? I'm gonna fold this over like this. It's like I'm reading the newspaper here. All right, so we got Galaxy Force. I haven't heard anything about this. Wow, Galaxy Force, late 2023. Huh. Granada. Grant moves south. Hearts and Minds. Okay. Here's that Indian Ocean I was mentioning. Interceptor Ace 2. A lot of interesting Kharkov battles. That's November 30th. I know people have been waiting on that. Contact Now. Red Eclipse. The NASA Signature Edition. That's late 2023. NATO, available now. Holiday price, 55 So if you missed out on NATO, there it is again. Oceans of Fire, Operation 333. Pacific Tide, second edition. There's all signed kinds of good. Pontiac's Ward. I'm actually looking forward to this one. That's late 2023. It's a John Poninski game. He does a lot of uh, Native American uh, history type games. Prelude the Re Revolution, No Peace Without Honor. That's continuing that whole series. Russian Campaign, because we can't have enough editions of the Russian Campaign. And Sea Power and State. Huh. I don't know much about that. Let's get this over here. And uh, see what we have here. Here's your little order sheet. Series 120. This is the, coming off the old uh, Frank Chadwick line there. And we get a Japanese submarine for a change. Got to have that. Sniper kill confirmed December 30th. South China Sea, I have that. The Stellar Horizons, their space exploration game. Uh, tank leader. Test of Faith, Doomsday Project, uh, EP1 and EP2, Enemy at the Gates, Fall of Tobruk, early 2024. Wow, that's a little bit, that's the furthest one out I've seen so far. Lamps Going Out, second edition. Uh, I really like that. Yeah, it's a good World War II strategic level game. Third World War, look at that. 155. Get it while it's hot. War for America. This is the Gilbert Collins uh, American Revolution game. War in the South Atlantic. Looks interesting. Western Front Ace. This is another one that's highly anticipated, I think, by a lot of people. This is the Gregory and Smith Solitaire System, but done to World War I airplane combat. Market Garden and Victory at Sea. This is the remake of the 1992 Jedco game. So, 
Interesting. So there you have it. I think that's everything there. I think we went over everything in this uh, catalog. Compass Games 2022 holiday catalog. I didn't go over every entry, but you get a, I think you get a feel for it. So if you didn't get yours, whoa, 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 whoa. It's gonna trying to get away from me if I buy something. Um, if you did not get yours in the mail, be looking for it. It should be coming in the mail. Also, uh, I imagine you can probably look some of these up on the Compass site, I would imagine. Uh, I know they've got a lot of those blowout sales are going on right now. So there you have it. Compass Game Catalog 20. 22, um, the holiday catalog. Uh, love to know your thoughts on this. Is there anything that's on this that you just can't wait for that you've been, you know, waiting for and just got to get your hands on? Love to see your thoughts on, on your Santa's Christmas list, your wish list. Um, uh, again, like the Western Front Ace is on mine, and I think there was another one that I thought they saw that I was um, really looking forward to. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you today. Enjoy your coffee and hopefully I didn't uh, put too much of a dent into your uh, pocketbook as you're hurriedly trying to order some of these games. Anyway, have a good one and take care. <laughs>